This is the SentrySafe Model X055. It's California DOJ approved, and it was hacked open in season one of Mr. Robot. In that episode, 1.7, the character Darlene has a bit of unobserved time in a guy's place where she goes looking for his personal safe and finds it. The first thing she tries when she attacks it is bouncing the solenoid pin. When that fails, she makes an educated guess as to what the guy's access code probably is and opens the safe. In the episode, there is no logo on the safe. I like to think they removed it to avoid giving Sentry Safe any advertising. Nevertheless, this device in front of me has the same keypad fitting and the same solenoid locked bolt work inside as the device on the show. And what I'm going to do right now is spill the beans about a design flaw that is literally staring everybody in the face. This is a small Phillips head screwdriver I'm going to use to push this LED out of my way. Here's what it looks like on the inside. Believe it or not, this piece of foam is being used to hold this little circuitry board in place. The board slips over a couple of plastic pieces that are supposed to anchor it in place, but the board wants to slip off. And if I pull the circuitry board away from the door, you can see three LEDs that extend all the way through the door into the keypad on the outside. And what I did with my coat hanger wire was reach in through this hole and press down on the solenoid pin so that I could draw the bolts back. And there you go, Carly. Now you can really, really actually break into one of these if you want to.